Hi, I'm Kevin with Springfield Leather. I have had recently several people ask me how to use this happy little gadget. It's called a lace maker. A lace maker is a really cool tool. Howsomever, it can be a really frustrating tool if you don't know how to use it. So I thought we'd do this brief little tutorial. First of all, a lace maker will only work with a sharp blade. If for any reason you've gotten your blade dull, you, you might as well just forget it. It's done. You need to replace the blade. And that's not a big deal. It's easy enough. Just replace it and then you'll be good to go. Also, a lace maker is designed to work on relatively firm leather. Now, they can be thin leather. They just need to be firm, have some body. Now, when you get really good with this, you can cut soft, mushy leather. I can cut deerskin with it but it is more difficult and you really need to have some practice under your belt before you try that. So first of all, I'm going to take a little piece of scrap leather that I happen to come by from the Justin Boot Company. I've cut myself a little, little piece of leather here and I'm going to take my shears and I'm going to cut a hole approximately in the center of it. Now, you can take a round drive punch, that's a lot easier, just bonk, make yourself a nice round little hole, and that works quite well. I've been cutting lace with a lace maker for so many years I can't even think about it. If you're right handed, you hold the lace maker in your right hand and you keep the sharp point of the blade out in front of you, pointing away from you put it through the hole in your leather and at this point again you want that blade facing straight away from you the sharp point needs to be going away from you then you give it a push you hold your leather firmly with your left hand you give it a push and a twist just a little one watch there not much now I can see a little tail just starting to appear, so I'm going to give it another little bitty push and a twist, and there it is. Don't know if you can see that down in there, it's kind of hard to see, but that little tail is there. So I'm going to work my fingers in there, you can see it's sticking up now maybe. I'm going to grab a hold of that tail and just, just start to work it a little bit. When you're doing that, you need to keep this finger of your left hand up underneath this leather. If you didn't notice, when we started this lace maker, we started it like this, right handed. Give it that little twist. Now once you've got that tail out there, you switch hands. Very important. Then you get a hold of that little tail and you start to work it through or you break it off, whatever the case, and you start to pull it around through there. It just takes a, a little bit of working with your fingers until it sticks out, and then you can pull it, and the next thing you know, you're making lace. Now if you pull too fast, it's not going to work at all. So just take it nice and slow. And we're making some lace here that's probably, oh, looks to me like about an eighth of an inch wide. And from that little four inch circle, we've got, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 feet of lace. I'm gonna do this once again, just so that you can see. Except this time, I'm gonna make wider lace. I'm gonna take my thumbnail, and I'm gonna push this ring, this retaining ring, off the lace maker. I'm gonna pull the blade out. I'm going to slide it over into the next slot. I'll tap it with my scissors here a little bit. Get the blade back in there. And I'm going to put this little retaining ring on there again. Sliding it down onto that plastic and working, working my way around. It'll go gradually, which is a good thing, until it's holding the blade in. This time we're going to make wider lace. 
I'll try another piece of leather. This is another little boot scrap. I'm kind of going to fold it over. I'm going to cut my little circle right in the middle of it. Take my right hand. The blade is pointing away from me. I'm going to put it in that hole. I'm going to hang on to this with my left hand. I'm going to give it a little push and a twist. And there's that tail. I'm going to switch hands now, just like you saw me do. I'm using my left hand on the lace maker. Grab a hold of that little tail and start turning it around. And this time we're making wider lace. This would make great buck stitch lacing for a pillow, maybe a handbag, home decor item, something like that. Won't get quite as much lace out of the piece, but you get quite a bit. Makes really good lace. Now, if you want to cut thin leather, you can do that. But first, you got to have a hole in it. If your leather is firm, now this is about two ounce leather, maybe two and a half at the most. If it's firm, push it away, give it a twist. You might have to give it two twists until that little tail appears. Hold your finger up underneath that leather. Grab the tail, and even if you have to grab this outer piece of leather at the same time, that's fine. Do that until you can work it around. Now, one thing you need to take note of, if you've got a thin piece of leather and you're cutting on the, the top slot, it means you've got quite a bit of space in there between the leather and the top of the lace maker. If you're not careful, the leather will bunch up in there and it's hard to cut lace that way. That's why you use this first finger to keep the leather pushed up against top of the lace maker. You push it up there just enough to keep it firm and then you can pull it through. Now if you want you can cut a larger piece. Size really doesn't matter too much except when you get above a square foot. A lace maker really is not very happy if you cut a piece of leather that's over a square foot. And with pieces that are larger, there's a few little tricks. We're going to cut our hole and start it just like always. Give it a little push and a twist. We're going to switch. We're going to switch hands. Grab that little tail and the piece of leather all at the same time. We're going to start to push. Now sometimes your leather, because of drooping down, will not pull through so easily. So what you need to do is you might have to give it a little flop, give it a little flip, all the while using that, that finger of your left hand to hold the leather up against the inside top of the lace maker. And if it, here we go. Another thing is that if if you pull too fast, you'll burn your finger. And if you make too much lace too fast, you'll also start to melt a slot in that little lace maker. And that's not a good thing. To stop it, that's all there is to it. Now, for what it's worth, as I mentioned before, you can cut soft leather with this but that little trick of the flapping really comes into play. So learn to cut some stiff leather first, uh, various kinds. Once you get that down, you'll understand and you'll do pretty good. Happy lace making.